God damn! Talk about fan service, how can she fight with such massive assets? Those claws must weigh a ton! What's up everyone, this is K Collections, and Passion Lip is yet another Sakura face servant created solely to fulfill weird fetishes. You have Melt with her legs, now Passion Lip with her oversized, uh, proportions? I'll break down her stats, skill, C recommendations, and some team builds. <laughs> oh my freaking god. That jiggle animation. <laughs> I can't even complete this review without being distracted. Passion Lip is a 4 star alter ego, so hey, maybe you'll get her before your first copy of Melt. She has the 6 highest attack stat out of all 4 star servants, but very low HP stats, just lower than Chloe, which is towards the bottom half. She's a buster focused servant having 4 buster attacks if you include her NP. This will severely affect her NP gains and star gen. Thankfully, her stats are good. If you use either an Arts Buster Quick or a Buster Quick Arts, she can gain about 30 to 35% NP. Any Brave Chains that involves her quick will generate roughly 15 to 20 stars. Brave Chains without it would give you around 10. For her active skills, it focuses on two things, increasing her defense so she can tank for your team, or increases her attack so she can abuse her Buster Dominant deck. First skill will help nullify her third skill stun demerit, and basically gives you a total of 3k damage cut when maxed out, which helps because that's like one fourth of her overall health you save. Obviously, her taunt is meant to save your other servants, works well with her first and third skill since it all increases her defense. Her second skill post rank up, it gives her an offensive boost. For example, if the skill is maxed leveled, once her health hits 5450, Passion Lip receives a 30% attack boost. If she only has 1 HP remaining, the boost will increase to 50%. Any remaining HP in between, the boost will adjust accordingly. Trash and Crash, a very unique name, gives her a boost in attack and defense. It's meant to be used after her first skill and can be combined with her second. Don't rely on the death chance, it's a nice gimmick. The invincibility pierce on the other hand helps a lot, especially with her AoE NP. Level her third, first, then second skill in that order. Her passives are good. Now, I wouldn't say she's a dedicated crit servant, but she has an average star weight, so an increase in crit damage and star gen is appreciated. Her Noble Phantasm is an AoE that deals damage and heals your team. Simple as that. Now, you can use her attack buffs for more damage, but be careful because her defense buffs are connected. Using them recklessly could be the difference between her dying and staying alive. For CE recommendations, you want to focus on her Buster performance. Whether or not you want to add a few effects with it depends on you. I'd go with Zero Over since it's a huge boost. Brave Hero works if you think you use her NP often. Join to Recital for a crit roll. Sunrise gives you a good starting NP. Who doesn't appreciate that, right? Now, Before Awakening is great for her overall performance. Increase for all attacks, and the increased defense synergizes well with her crit roll. Golden Sumo is self-explanatory. For team build, obviously being so buster focused, I have to recommend Merlin. This team has a lot of strengths. Great survivability, lots of attack and defense buffs, having an Alter Ego and Berserker means you'll deal effective damage to most enemies. Also, since Ibaraki and Merlin has low star weights, most crit stars will go to Passion Lip. Now, having so many buster cards naturally means your NP gains and star gen will suffer, but thanks to Merlin, he can offset that issue. So how does Merlin help? Well, as I said during my intro, Passion Lip fulfills specific fantasies for people. With Merlin, you can create an entirely new adult category. You artists out there, don't get any ideas. Joking aside, Merlin enhances the strengths of both servants while covering their weaknesses. He's the one who can consistently charge NP gauge and provide stars for your team. He's also the one who can keep Passion Lip alive with healing. She's the one who will absorb most of the stars he creates, therefore his Buster Crit buff works perfectly with her. The increase in max HP can also keep Passion Lip alive longer whenever she uses her taunt ability. Ibaraki is there to deal with any Knight class enemies. With her own defense buff, Merlin's healing and invincibility, and Passion Lip's taunt, you won't have to worry too much about Ibaraki dying. Of course, a few crit damage here and there can still kill her, so don't be completely carefree. She can also increase Passion Lip's attack and lower enemies' defense with her NP. The buff removal will definitely help Passion Lip a lot, especially when enemies buff their own attacks. So, Mash and Kets offer more survivability options with Passion Lip. You're going to have a lot of defense buffs, and by having two servants that can use taunt, it splits the burden of tanking. 
Now, they're not going to generate a lot of stars, so I highly recommend a 2030 on Nash. Also, Pashalup has no ability to gather stars, meaning most of them will go to Kets. Now, there's no effective damage against any of the Knight classes, automatically limiting some quests you can take. But hey, they're great against casters. With all the defense buffs MASH provides, enemies will have a hard time killing Passion Lip, especially when combining her own defense buffs. If you think Passion Lip may die, MASH serves as an alternative tank thanks to her own taunt ability. If things get bad, she can use an invincibility on a servant. That being said, a team that focuses on defense must have a healer to keep HPs high. That's something Passion Lip provides for everyone. Kets is her main damage dealer, any stars generated will mostly go to her. Her buster buff, which also grants gut status, will help Passion Lip's damage output, especially her AoE NP attack, which can clear waves. The guts can be combined with Mash's or Passion Lip's taunt if you think they may die. A great backup if Mash's invincibility skill isn't available. Obviously, all of this can be used on herself. You can also chain all NPs together. Mash will increase their attack, Kets' burn damage will increase, and you'll receive more health back from Passion Lip. My final thoughts on Passion Lip. She's a good damage dealer, having 4 busters, high attack stats, attack buffs, and is effective against 5 different classes. Not only is she a good damage dealer, she's a great tank thanks to multiple buffs in defense. She also has amazing skill synergy. All skills can be activated together for either defense or attacking purposes. Her double phantasm, which is great for clearing waves, and the healing it provides helps keep her alive longer. Of course, every servant does have their weaknesses. Hers would be her class and deck being a double-edged sword. Her buster heavy deck allows her to deal high consistent damage, but the only way to charge her NP or generate stars would be from her arts or quick, which she only has one of each. If she uses it, that's great, but the ratio isn't stacked in our favor. I'm sure you know this, but her class receives neutral damage against most classes, even the ones she's effective against. Being a tank, it does hurt her survivability not being able to take resist damage. Adding her low health doesn't help either. Overall, Passion Lip is an amazing servant. She excels in both offense and defense, making her very reliable in battle. I definitely recommend summoning her. Even throwing a few tickets or sync ports on her banner is recommended. Besides, you never know, right? She's a servant that will definitely help a lot, especially if you're new or free to play. Special thanks to all my patrons for supporting me. If you want to support my channel, check out my Patreon. So, who do you think has the most unique weapon in FGL? Passion Lift's gigantic claws are pretty unique in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more FGL content. Follow my Twitter, Instagram, and join my Discord server. All links are in the description. Have an awesome day everyone, till next time.